Although there is compelling evidence of a subterranean ocean and organic molecules, a large portion of Pluto's environment is still hostile and unsuitable for life as we know it. The average surface temperature is between minus 375 degrees Fahrenheit and minus 225 degrees Celsius, which is extremely cold for liquid water to exist in its natural state. However, Pluto's geophysical traits are all the more intriguing given the potential that a liquid of some kind could exist beneath its frozen crust, kept warm by internal heat from nuclear decay or tidal forces. This possibility raises profound questions about planetary evolution and the conditions necessary for sustaining life in extreme environments. Both scientists and the general public have always been captivated by the idea of extraterrestrial life. Furthermore, many people are starting to question whether Pluto is a smaller planet than initially thought in light of its unexpected traits. Pluto's subsurface environment might not be all that different from other frozen moons in our solar system that exhibit potential for microbial life. If it does contain liquid water and organic compounds, the discovery of these elements could spark new debates over what is necessary for life to exist in harsh environments. Pluto is an intriguing and enigmatic astronomical body that lies in the Kuiper belt beyond Neptune. It was formally reclassified as a dwarf planet in 2006, changing its status from being considered the ninth planet in our solar system. Pluto appeared out of place right away. It exhibits unusual behavior for a planet when its orbit crosses that of other planets. However, this reality has not diminished the fascination with this remarkable celestial object. Despite traditionally being thought to be inhospitable to life, Pluto stands out as an intriguing and potentially promising prospect in the search for life beyond Earth. The Kuiper Belt, where Pluto resides, is a vast region filled with icy bodies, comets, and remnants from the early solar system. It represents an ancient, untouched archive of planetary formation. Understanding Pluto helps scientists learn more about the processes that shaped the solar system billions of years ago. Unlike the terrestrial planets, which underwent significant geological activity and atmospheric changes, Pluto and its neighboring objects remained relatively unchanged, preserving crucial information about the solar system's early days. Our expectations have been exceeded by the findings made by scientists on Pluto's surface and beneath its icy shell. Our knowledge of Pluto is changing as a result of breathtaking photos captured by the James Webb Space Telescope and the New Horizons mission, which show that it is much more than just a dwarf planet. NASA's New Horizons spacecraft, which conducted a flyby of Pluto in 2015, revolutionized our understanding of the distant world. Before the mission, Pluto was thought to be a relatively inactive, barren rock. However, the data revealed a surprisingly complex and dynamic planet with glacial flows, towering mountains made of ice, and evidence of possible subsurface activity. One of the most striking discoveries was the presence of a heart-shaped region called Tomba Regio, which consists of nitrogen glaciers and hints at ongoing geological processes. New Horizons also discovered Pluto's blue atmospheric haze, which is composed of complex hydrocarbons resulting from interactions between sunlight and methane. This thin atmosphere expands and contracts as Pluto moves along its highly elliptical orbit. The discovery of an active atmosphere challenges previous assumptions that small, distant bodies lack significant atmospheric dynamics. One of the most exciting possibilities suggested by New Horizons data is the Presence of a subsurface ocean beneath Pluto's icy shell. The discovery of extensional gravity has given credence to the idea that Pluto contains a subterranean ocean beneath its icy appearance. Scientists theorize that radioactive decay within Pluto's core or residual heat from its formation might be keeping this ocean in a liquid state, despite the frigid surface conditions. If such an ocean exists, it could harbor conditions suitable for life. On Earth, Deep-sea ecosystems thrive in complete darkness, sustained by hydrothermal vents that provide heat and chemical energy. A similar process could potentially occur on Pluto if the right chemical reactions are taking place beneath its surface. The detection of organic molecules on Pluto's surface has further fueled speculation about its potential for life. Organic molecules are the building blocks of life as we know it, and their presence suggests that complex chemical processes are occurring. These compounds, combined with the possibility of liquid water, indicate that Pluto might have the essential ingredients for habitability. 
Although Pluto's environment is vastly different from Earth's, the discovery of extremophiles, organisms that survive in extreme conditions, has expanded our understanding of where life can exist. If microbial life exists in Pluto's subsurface ocean, it would reshape our perspective on astrobiology and the prevalence of life in the universe. Our knowledge of Pluto and the possibility of life in the farthest regions of our solar system will surely evolve as technology advances and other missions, like New Horizons, continue to make in-depth observations. Pluto remains a focus of future study and exploration because of its mysterious and enigmatic nature, which captivates scientists. Whether it is the tantalizing prospect of a deep ocean or the identification of organic molecules, Pluto continues to intrigue researchers. Several future mission concepts aim to explore Pluto and its moons in greater detail. A Pluto orbiter could provide long-term observations, mapping its surface and measuring gravitational anomalies that might confirm the presence of an ocean. Additionally, advances in robotic exploration could eventually lead to a lander or even a probe capable of drilling through Pluto's icy crust to directly sample its subsurface ocean. Pluto's eccentricity and distant orbit make understanding its place in the solar system more complex. The environment surrounding Pluto is significantly shaped by interactions between Pluto and the Kuiper Belt, an area home to dwarf planets and ice bodies. The study of Pluto provides insight into the early state of the solar system, and the Kuiper Belt serves as a storehouse of ancient material. Being the farthest known object in the Kuiper Belt that a spacecraft has ever visited, Pluto is essential to comprehending how planetary bodies in the outer solar system develop and change. One crucial component of Pluto's potential to support life is the likelihood of a dynamic subsurface ocean. The discovery of organic compounds on its surface supports the idea that Pluto might be the site of a unique biochemical cycle. These organic compounds, which are the building blocks of life on Earth, may indicate that Pluto's surface chemistry is linked to processes that could sustain microbial life even in the absence of sunlight. If liquid water exists beneath Pluto's ice and can interact with organic molecules, it is possible that Pluto might harbor life forms, albeit very different from those we are accustomed to. To sum up, Pluto's transition from a planet to a dwarf planet has neither lessened its appeal nor its potential as a research subject. The discoveries revealed thus far suggest that there is much more to this distant world than we previously believed especially regarding its geophysical properties, organic molecules, and the potential for an ocean beneath its surface. Pluto's contribution to the hunt for life and its ongoing scientific significance are only now becoming clear as we continue to explore the farthest regions of our solar system. For more updates on Pluto, the search for extraterrestrial life, and other amazing discoveries in the universe, Continued research and exploration will be essential in uncovering the many mysteries of this distant world. One of the most exciting possibilities suggested by New Horizons data is the presence of a subsurface ocean beneath Pluto's icy shell. The discovery of extensional gravity has given credence to the idea that Pluto contains a subterranean ocean beneath its icy appearance. Scientists theorize that radioactive decay within Pluto's core or residual heat from its formation might be keeping this ocean in a liquid state, despite the frigid surface conditions. If such an ocean exists, it could harbor conditions suitable for life. On Earth, deep-sea ecosystems thrive in complete darkness, sustained by hydrothermal vents that provide heat and chemical energy. A similar process could potentially occur on Pluto if the right chemical reactions are taking place beneath its surface. The detection of organic molecules on Pluto's surface has further fueled speculation about its potential for life. Organic molecules are the building blocks of life as we know it, and their presence suggests that complex chemical processes are occurring. These compounds, combined with the possibility of liquid water, indicate that Pluto might have the essential ingredients for habitability. Although Pluto's environment is vastly different from Earth's, the discovery of extremophiles, organisms that survive in extreme conditions, has expanded our understanding of where life can exist. If microbial life exists in Pluto's subsurface ocean, it would reshape our perspective on astrobiology and the prevalence of life in the universe. Pluto is not alone in its journey through the Kuiper Belt. It has five known moons, Charon, Styx, Nix, Kerberos, and Hydra. Each of these moons plays a crucial role in understanding Pluto's history and dynamics. Charon, 
Pluto's largest moon is nearly half the size of Pluto itself, making the pair a unique binary system. Charon's surface exhibits deep chasms and canyons, suggesting a history of geological activity. Some scientists believe that Charon, like Pluto, may have once had a subsurface ocean that has since frozen. The four smaller moons, Styx, Nix, Kerberos, and Hydra, are irregularly shaped and exhibit chaotic rotations, possibly due to the gravitational influence of both Pluto and Charon. These moons likely formed from a giant impact early in Pluto's history, similar to how Earth's moon was created. Studying Pluto's moons provides valuable insight into how celestial bodies form and interact in the outer solar system. Our knowledge of Pluto and the possibility of life in the farthest regions of our solar system will surely evolve as technology advances and other missions, like New Horizons, continue to make in-depth observations. Pluto remains a focus of future study and exploration because of its mysterious and enigmatic nature, which captivates scientists. Whether it is the tantalizing prospect of a deep ocean or the identification of organic molecules, Pluto continues to intrigue researchers. Several future mission concepts aim to explore Pluto and its moons in greater detail. A Pluto orbiter could provide long-term observations, mapping its surface and measuring gravitational anomalies that might confirm the presence of an ocean. Additionally, advances in robotic exploration could eventually lead to a lander or even a probe capable of drilling through Pluto's icy crust to directly sample its subsurface ocean. To sum up, Pluto's transition from a planet to a dwarf planet has neither lessened its appeal nor its potential as a research subject. The discoveries revealed thus far suggest that there is much more to this distant world than we previously believed, especially regarding its geophysical properties, organic molecules, and the potential for an ocean beneath its surface. Pluto's contribution to the hunt for life and its ongoing scientific significance are only now becoming clear as we continue to explore the farthest regions of our solar system. For more updates on Pluto, the search for extraterrestrial life, and other amazing discoveries in the universe. Continued research and exploration will be essential in uncovering the many mysteries of this distant world.